this video talks through a number of important ideas regarding area. Now the first sheet here has got two prepared examples, two fairly basic ones. The first one of course is a triangle and the first example just reminds you on how to find the area of the triangle. In this case we're given three different sides or dimensions. We've got the base, the height and an extra length down the diagonal. Now to find the area of a triangle is always a half times base times height. The five is an extra misleading bit of information. So we just do a half times base times height. So a half times eight times four. Eight times four is 32. A half of 32. 16 and of course 16 centimetres squared for an area. This was question one on an exam a few years ago. Now the second shape is a trapezium. It's got two parallel sides and a height. Now you're given a formula in the exam to find the area of a trapezium. It is a half A plus B times H, and this formula can be found at the start of the examination. Now A and B just correspond to the two parallel sides, and H just corresponds to the height. So to find the area, we have a half A plus B, A plus B, times by the height. So we add the 5 and the 7 to get 12. 12 times 7 is 84. Then we just halve the 84 to get to 42 centimetres squared. So that is the way we can find the area of a trapezium. The second example links area to what's called surface area. This represents the area of all the faces of the shape. Now here we have a cuboid which has got six faces. So for example we could find the area of this face, it's a rectangle, so 4 times 5 which is 20. We could find the area of this face, which has got a width of 6, but of course a height of 4. So 4 times 6 is 24. And of course we could also find the area of the top of the shape. It's got a width of 5, and it goes into the page by 6. So 5 and 6 5 times 6 equals 30. So this helps us find the surface area because the front of the shape and the back of the shape must both be 20. The two sides must both be 24. And the top and the bottom of the shape must both be 30. So the surface area will be 40 plus 48 plus 60, 40, 80, 140, 148 centimetres squared. So that is how you can find the surface area of a cuboid, though those ideas can be used for any 3D shape. The next part of this video talks through a key shape which is a circle. Excuse the very poor sketch of a circle. Now the area of a circle is always given by pi times by the radius squared. 
I've placed a bracket around to emphasize it is just the radius which is squared. Now the radius, as we know, is the distance from the center to the outside. So it's pi times 6 squared, which we write as 6 squared is 36 times by pi, which could be found on a calculator by doing 36 times pi, but we'll leave this in terms of pi, which is an accurate answer. Now just while we're here, a reminder, you can also find the circumference, which you all know to be the distance around the outside. Imagine a wheel turning, it would be how far the wheel would move per revolution. This is always 2 pi times radius, or pi times diameter, but we're given the radius, so this equals 2 times pi times 6, 2 times 6 is 12, and times by pi. And there are the two key formulae you must know for a circle. Do not forget these. They are not given to you. Go away and learn them. Now for my final example, I'm going to present you this for a sector, which can often be one of the A or A star questions. But actually it's very easy. Now a sector, if you can imagine this, is basically part of a full circle. So try to imagine a circle which basically extends around this big circle, let's say. So the 5 would represent the radius of what would be a full circle. So if I asked you for the area of a circle, it would be pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. Put a pi here, 25 pi. But this is not a full circle. It is a fraction of a circle. Now the fraction of the circle is basically 30 degrees out of a full circle. So I'll write this just up here. We have 30 degrees out of a full circle. Because of course there are 360 degrees in a circle. Now 30 over 360, the zeros cancel out, and 3 over 36 is 1 12. So we have 1 12 of a full circle. So to find the area of the sector, we must divide full circle by 12. So we have 25 pi divided by 12. And that would be the area of this particular sector.